Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Miriam, and I'm here with the content and I'm here to present to you guys. Um, and today we'll be continuing with the topic how to protect your energy from negative people. Yes, yeah, so you heard me right. So if you are tuning to this channel for the first time, my name is Miriam. I am a wife, a mom, a student, an entrepreneur, a fashion designer, and a YouTuber. Yes, and I drop two videos every week, every Mondays and Wednesdays. You can also catch me live on YouTube every Saturdays and Wednesdays, then 30 p.m. Pacific time or 6.30 a.m. West African time. Sharing 15 tips on how we can protect our parts. It is so easy to soak up in the world around us. Living themselves, Jay, we don't need to judge people in this way and we don't need to pretend that we are beaming with joy they'll look for someone else and that's the truth if you are new to this channel i want to say a big thank you thank you so much for tuning to this channel please don't forget to click on the, please click on the subscribe button and turn on notification bells so that you get notified each time i drop a new video so when you turn on the notification bell you see all you see personalized please click on all so that you get all the notifications each time i drop a new video so and if you're a returning subscriber i want to say a big thank you thank you so much for your constant love and support i see you guys and i appreciate you from the depth of my heart yes so today if you are yet to follow me on instagram please follow me at chastis everything yes i share lots of tips and tricks that helps us become better versions of ourselves and you can also follow me on tiktok the same name chastis everything yes so so i'll see you guys inside <laughs> all right i'll see you guys on the inside <laughs> so today we'll be continuing with with the rest of the tips Today we'll be continuing with how to protect our energy. Yes, so <laughs> protect your energy from those negative people. Pick up one. You know, so come with me. Let's go. Tip number six, get busy. In other words, be busy. If you know you get impacted easily by the energies of the world around you, honor yourself well enough to set strong limits. Don't say yes to more than you can handle. Just because you have just because you have a night or a weekend free doesn't mean that you are actually Free. you know just because someone is persistently asking something of you doesn't mean you have to give in to it because you are busy busy healing busy restoring busy contemplating busy spending much needed time alone so say no before committing to more than you can handle no explanations are necessary yes so i said so you're simply busy at that time and that's the truth because the intention is this I have the right to be busy with the work of healing and restoring my energy. Yes. <laughs> Tip number seven, ground yourself in nature. We all lose ourselves from time to time and someone's negativity gets the best of us when we get swept along into their current. And for deep healing and to find for deep healing and to find yourself again ground yourself in nature take a walk in the park or in the woods if you can i used to do long walks in the in the of a beautiful park nearby regularly and it was so cleansing ever since i stopped my my energy actually struggled because of it and i i know i need to make this practice again my intention is no matter how lost like i got in someone's negativity i can use the powerful restorative qualities of nature to heal and reboot yes so number eight move away when possible distance yourself at least 20 feet from the suspected source like if you are close to them or maybe you are attending a party together you met them at a party distance yourself by at least 20 feet from the suspected source see if you feel relieved don't err on the side of not wanting to offend anyone now, at the gathering try not to sit next to the identified energy vampire because physical closeness increases empathy yes and number nine surrender to your breath if you suspect that you're picking up someone else's negativity concentrate on your breath for a few minutes in contrast holding your breath actually keeps negativity lodged in your body and to purify fear and pain exhale stress exhale stress and inhale calm so picture unwholesome emotions as a gray fog lifting from your body and wellness as a clear light entering into your body this can actually produce Quick results yes number 10 practice meditation be sure to meditate before the gathering centering yourself feeling your heart and get strong if you counter emotional or physical distress while at an event act fast and med meditate for a few minutes and you can take this by taking refuge in the bathroom or an empty room you know if it's public close the stall and meditate there calm yourself focus on positivity and love this has actually saved me so many times at social functions where I feel depleted by others. Number 11, set healthy limits and boundaries. Control how much time you spend listening to stressful people and learn to say no. Set clear limits and boundaries with people nicely. 
nicely cutting them off at the pass if they get critical or mean. Remember, no is a complete sentence. Number 12, visualize, visualize protection around you. Research has actually shown that visualization is a healing mind-body technique, a practical form of protection that many people use, including healthcare practitioners with difficult patients. And it involves visualizing an envelope of white light around of white light around your entire body. Or with extremely toxic people, visualize a fierce black jaguar patrolling and protecting you. Yes. Number 13, quickly cleanse. So if you're with someone whose negativity is impacting you, there's a tendency to clam up and take quick shallow breaths. Doing so exasperates that person's impact on you, allowing their negativity to seep deeper, deeper into your core. Instead, pause and take several slow, deep cleansing breaths. Let your breath remind you of the power that you hold over your domain. Close your eyes and breathe in calm, peace and light and breathe out pain toxicity and darkness your breath is the simplest and greatest but greatest power now here is the intention my breath alone can heal me <laughs> number 14 don't give permission no one can affect you without your permission and if someone's energy will be harmful to you don't grant them that permission recognize this power within yourself own it you're not anyone's emotional puppet. You are strong and intuitive and empathetic. And that can leave you open to other people's energy. But only if you allow it. So whenever you need to, tell yourself that you simply will not allow it. Now, this is the intention. My energy is mine. And the energy of others penetrate me only when I allow it. The more conscientious, sensitive, and empathic you are, the easier it is for you to get swept away by the energies of other people. But you can protect your own energy because all of it takes practice and a belief that your well-being and mental health are worth it. So choose to believe. <laughs> Number 15, define and honor your empathic needs. Safeguard your sensitivities in a calm, collected moment. You know, make a list, make a list of your top five most emotionally rattling situations. Then formulate a plan for handling them so you don't fumble in the moment. Now, here are some practical examples of what to do in situations that please tell my impacts. Now, if someone asks too much of you, politely tell them no. It is not necessary to explain why. And as the saying goes, no is a complete sentence. You remember I said that earlier. Number two. If your comfort level is three hours max for socializing, even if you adore the people, take your own car or have an alternate transportation plan so you are not stranded. Number three, if crowds are overwhelming, a hypertend meal beforehand because it grounds you and seats you in the far corner. <laughs> so number four, some empaths are highly sensitive to scents. So if you're overwhelmed, stand near a window, stand near a window or take frequent breaks to catch a, a breath of fresh air outdoors and i hope that with these few points of mine i've been able to convince you and not confuse you that you can actually protect your energy from these energy vampires yes <laughs> if this video has blessed you you know how we do it please click on the subscribe button and leave your comments as well and, and if you're interested in joining my facebook group it is called business moguls we help to inspire business people to take their business ideas to the next level and if you're needing an accountability partner i'll be more than happy to ginger you and be your accountability partner free of charge <laughs> so join my facebook group and thank me later <laughs> so i'll see you again next week with another powerful and exciting episode um but till then don't forget to don't forget to follow me on instagram at chassis everything and tiktok at chassis everything i'll see you guys again i'll see you guys next week don't allow these energy vampires to drain you sweetie you can protect your energy <laughs> take care guys i love you all bye <laughs> Sharing 15 tips of how we can protect our packs. It is so easy to soak up in the world around us. Living themselves, Jay, we don't need to judge people in this way. And we don't need to pretend that we are dealing with joy. They'll look for someone else. And that's the truth. They'll look for someone else who will. Or better yet, the question is, I am protected and we visual or believe in ourselves enough. Our energy is for everyone's.